Hi there, parents. It's Mrs. Ramsdale again uh, here with Team Incredible. Today, our video is going to focus on um, some what I call housekeeping topics. We're going to talk about um, office hours and how they're going to look a little different this week. Also, we're going to talk about how to tell if your child's missing assignments through Infinite Campus. And we're also going to just talk about how to check their eye ready and the status of their lessons that they're doing. All right. And so today I have for us, good things can still happen in the midst of chaos. And my house is a bit chaotic trying to teach my kids and teach everybody else too, while keeping the house clean and the dogs fed and things like that. So um, let's try to get some positive things out of this crazy chaos. What I'm going to start with is I'm going to start with our schedule. In our schedule, you will see that it looks just like the last few weeks. Here, um, we have added a couple new things. Our virtual hours have changed, and our iReady tournament here, and I'll get to those in just a few minutes. A reminder, each kid needs to fill out their mood check-in every day. We do not have school this Friday, so there will be no team meeting, and there will be no school on Friday, so the kids get the day off as well as the teachers. Down here are virtual office hours. We have, we're changing those a little bit. We're modifying them. Last week, we learned that uh, we have kids who may not get started until later in the afternoon. Uh, we have kids who like to get up and get things over with so they don't have to worry about it. So what we have done is we have adjusted our office hours. As you can see here, we're going to have two sessions. We're going to have uh, a morning session and an afternoon session. Each session is a half an hour. All of the teachers will be in attendance. Kids can basically pop in to ask a question and then pop out. It's up to them how long they stay. If they just want to pop in to say hi, that's fine. Parents, this is also a good time for you to pop in. If you have a question about anything, we can help you out as well. Remember, these meetings are not mandatory, but these are the times that they will be available. We also would like to remind you that uh, our teacher workday is still 740 to 340. So we will be available during those times, whether it's via email or our office hours. But please know that our day ends at 340. So if you email us after basically four, four o'clock, uh, we will get back to you the next day. Now we have the iReady tournament. iReady is very new to us still, and the kids know how to do it. Uh, but parents, you may not know exactly what to ask or what to be looking for. So I have here, I pulled up my own sons. This is Carson. He's in third grade. And this is what it could look like for your child. When they log in, they can choose reading or math. I'm going to choose reading first. And it brings you to what I call the their path. And so every kid has a differentiated path. So my lesson might look different than my neighbor's lesson. Or even if you have a sister or a brother in the class, it'll look different. Now, parents, what you need to do is you need to say, show me your progress. And when a kid shows you their progress, they're going to click right here. And what do you want to look for? Here's what you want to look for. You want to look at their minutes. Now, as you can see, Carson does not have any minutes today or this week at all. Well, that's because we focused on math. So let me take you to math. So here, as you can see, he completed 50 minutes today. Um, which is part of his requirement. His requirement is 45 minutes, just like uh, fifth and sixth grade. Now, once you see their minutes, that's fine and dandy, but let's check their completed work. And right here, if they click on completed work, you can see how many lessons they have passed during the week. I can see now that Carson has passed, that he passed one here, and then he did not do so well on this one, and then he got to retake it, and he ended up passing it. So right here, he has two lessons completed. We require one lesson per subject. So as you can see, if kids are doing their 45 minutes, they're going to get more than one lesson done. Now, reading here, um, I can still see what he has completed, but this was all last week. So if you want to get back to see what they need to do, you can go back to lesson stats, or their to-do list that will show you what they need to do. So hopefully that helps you understand um, iReady and what you can ask to check in on for your child. Now, let the students know that we are doing a uh, championship Friday. 
they are familiar with that with Mr. Steele, we are having an I Ready tournament. And so we are versing Mrs. Muck and Mrs. Schleichert's uh, fifth grade gateway team. And so the way that we can earn points or to do our best is to uh, get minutes and lessons for our I, I Ready. And this is encouraging and motivating the kids to do a little more than just their 45 minutes in their one lesson. Now, as we scroll down, uh, you will find math first. This is no different than any other week that we have been doing this. This is week three. So as you can see, Mrs. Watkins has listed all of her lessons here. She's listed them, listed them by day. Excuse me. So here uh, she will tell you that you need to go to her Google Classroom. We also give the estimated time. If you go to her Google Classroom, she will have a quick a welcome message, but then here you go. Everything's listed here for you to do. Um, some things are optional. If you are doing the optional things, such as the grilled cheese puzzle, here's what this looks like. This is a mashup, and she will post the answers on Thursday at 2 o'clock. So if you want to check that out, you can um, log in at 2 o'clock to check out the uh, key. Now, moving along, we get to ELA. And as you can see, Ms. Ulbrich has everything listed here as well. It is very important, guys, that you read thoroughly on what we are doing because some things are new to us as well. So like right here, I can see there's specific instructions to access this scope article. Now, if you go to Ms. Ulbrich's page, you will see that she has you uh, a, a message, and then here are the assignments, but then here is her first scholastic scope. I'm gonna walk you through this because some kids might have some issues with this. So if you click on the assignment, and then you have to follow these things. You need to go to scope scholastic first, And remember, when it's loading, that reminds us to be patient and to take a breath. So I tell the kids, this is how we get our yoga in and our meditation, is we breathe while it loads. Now, as you can see here, we have many, um, many scope magazines, what she wants you to do. Now, I like to have many tabs open, as you can see. So here is the broom dog. I'm going to come back to here. Now that I'm in there, what do I need to do? Oh, I need to click that I'm a student. And here is the code. If you just copy and paste that code into there, you'll be just fine. And so here's what she wants. Is she wants you to look here and then go on to broom dog. The broom dog. Now, I didn't have to put in the code because I had already logged in. Here is the article. Now, we also know kids are going to look at this and they're going to make that wonderful groaning noise that we always hear. Ugh, I don't want to read all this. Great. Tell them you don't have to read all of it. You, all, you can listen to it right here. If you want to hear this story read aloud, just click here and it will read it to you. Now, what Ms. Yulbrick is also encouraging is that you have this um, article pulled up when you finish or while you are doing the questions. Now, as you can see, there are many questions here that she has for you. Keep that article open and refer back to it so then that way you can ensure you get the correct answer. Back to our schedule. You will see that she's got some of the stuff will look familiar. And then you move down to science and social studies. All right, and that's mine. And here we go. I uh, have that there's no slideshow this week. But when you go into my Google Classroom, you will see this happens to be green, blue, but all of them look the same. You will see that I have all of my assignments dated. So this is a, if they, the, if they need to get to a certain day, they just click on the day. And here was today. All of their information that they need to do are right here. If they need to know what they want to do tomorrow, well, they go to Tuesday. If they want to get ahead, they can get ahead. Now, one thing 
that a lot of people ran into today was logging into this. This is a new app and it's called um, Wiser. And kids were saying, oh, the code says it won't work. Well, here's what I'm going to tell you. You need to log in first. Now, I'm already logged in. You need to log in through Google. And then you can copy that code and enter the code. And that is how you access the worksheet, the interactive worksheet. Now, also in here, as you can see, a lot of us have um, our, we haven't taken any of the assignments away. So if you see that your child is missing any homework, everything that we've had posted for the last two, three weeks is still here for them to access. So um, here is religion stuff, and then Egypt, and then now rocks. Same thing for uh, Miss Yulbrick and Mrs. Watkins. If they cannot access something, they need to email the teacher because sometimes we have to reassign it because it's past the due date. Um, as we scroll down, Mrs. Harmon also needs you to be checking her website if you are her student. Now, Mrs. Harmon's been busy. She has made um, a video here that talks about the argumentative essay as well as the directions for writing it. So if you need help, you can view those. Now, the last one of the last things we're going to talk about, and I think this is the most important thing, parents, is your infinite campus. Now, it is important. Some of you already have it set up to where you can get messages. Um, I'm not sure how to have that set up yet. Um, some of you already do that. I will look into that if you are interested in getting notifications when we enter grades. Uh, please email me or um, message me and I can help get direct you to that. But what you can do is have your child log in or you can log into your infinite campus. And when you log into your infinite campus, you can view their assignments. Now, I'm going to pull up a screenshot here to kind of explain to you what you're looking at. So when this is the teacher version. When we go in and we enter grades, you will see here is a grade and here's a place for a um, comment. And then over here, you will see some letters. These letters stand for different things. Um, tardy, missing, late, incomplete, all right, excused, dropped, whatever. Okay, the only thing you need to worry about are these letter M's. All right, these are the missing assignments. Now, what does this mean? If your child has a missing assignment, that is just telling you and the child, hey, you still need to do this. Now, a lot of the kids are worried, is this going to affect my grade because it's missing? No, it will not affect your grade. We do not want to bombard our kids or our parents with emails about missing work. You guys are already stressed out enough. We understand it. We just need a way to communicate to you that you still have some things you need to do. Now, here's what this looks like. If you see a grade here, that's the grade. No, no worries. If you do not see a grade, do not worry about that. Some some of the things that we grade take a little bit longer. What you want to look for is you want to look for the M. Is there a missing assignment? Again, yours won't look like this because this is the teacher view. And I do not have any examples for my kids because my kids are still getting M's and P's and L's. So they're not getting letter grades yet. Also, when you go in to look at your child's um, grades, please, please, please look at the comments. You would have to open up that grade to see the comment, but we are writing. All right, we here's where you can find things. This is We emailed the kid. Um, there's some very helpful information within the comments. So you definitely want to make sure that you are uh, checking in on your child's grades. Please remember, the missing will go away. There is no penalty. However, when we mark missing, it counts it as a zero. And so once they turn it in, we will adjust that grade to where the zero will be taken away. 
back to our schedule. Um, Art has some really good things here too to look at. I know she's been changed. Mrs. Fish has been changing this. Our kids um, need to keep on doing their um, their specials. Uh, PE right here. There's a, a quizzes and a challenge. Also, if you have your child who is, um, if they're riding their bike, if they're practicing soccer or dance or anything like that, have them fill out this log. Mrs. Gum really would like to see um, how they're staying active. Even if they're jumping on the trampoline for a half hour, that is activity. Um, and again, here's how you can contact us. If you need us, just copy and paste that into your email. I think that is all for today. I'm going to go over my notes real quick. It looks like that is good for us. Um, but what I do want to remind you before we go is of the last two new things right here, our virtual office hours. They are pop in and pop out and our iReady tournament. Parents, um, we really appreciate you. You know, um, we know you're working hard and we really um, are, we're there with you. And we want to make sure that we're there for you too. So if you have any questions, please feel free to email us, drop us um, an email, or even on Facebook or on Remind 101, you can reach out to us and we can we want to help you any way we can. We appreciate you and we will speak soon. Thank you.